Guys, Better Best Dog here, Better Best Dog TV. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, especially if this is for a kind of course, the kind of course of people. You know, you're looking to train your kind of course, so this would be a good video for you. But we're just giving you a light update on Deuce. Trev's going to sit there and kind of break down what he's been seeing over the past, you know, month or so since I've had him with me. And then I'm also going to walk you through, not necessarily tell you, but I'm just going to kind of show you, in a sense, things that I've been working on with him, things I've been trying to tighten up. Um, in terms of his recall, in terms of his attention to detail, release commands, all that kind of stuff. If y'all saw when Ferran first brought, it, brought um, Deuce, he was had a prong collar on, had him on a leash, yanking on him, all these little things. So, you know, all of our dogs, we, we try to steer away from using some of those tools as much as possible because these dogs are smart enough at times to identify when they have it on, when they don't, so they understand when to get away with it. But that being said... Um, Deuce has come along great. He's actually a really good dog. You know, I've never, I've never worked with a Connie Corso before. So Deuce is uh, my first. <laughs> so he's popping my Connie Corso cherry per se, but he's actually been a good time. He's a really good dog. He's a lot of fun. He means completely well, super innocent. He just, look, he's just aiming to please. He just wants someone to, in a sense, just give a shit realistically. And not saying that Ferran doesn't give a shit. As you already know, Ferran does travel a lot for what he does profession wise, AKA basketball. So, you know, he doesn't get the time to always be there with Deuce, but when he is, he's Deuce is all about Ferran, a.k.a. his owner. So in this video, Trev's going to walk you some of the things that he's been identifying, some of the things that I've, I can also continue to keep working on in terms of tightening Deuce up in certain areas. And then at the end, you'll also see me literally walking, you know, working with Deuce from releasing out of the crate to healing to recall um, to his downstays, working in distractions. That's the next phase we're going to start taking him in as far as just, you know, working more in distraction heavy environments so that you can really, really dial them in. Because I've been working primarily in environments where there have not been many distractions. So it's now to really start upping the ante so he can really start paying attention. But stay tuned, people. Take care of your dogs. I'm going to pass it over to Trev here where he's going to give you a breakdown of what he's been seeing. And at the end, you'll see all the stuff that I've been doing with him. And as always, thank you so much as, again for watching. Please, once again, like, subscribe, and share it with someone who this may potentially help. Guys, in this video, Jamarcus is going to walk you through some of the stuff that he's done in training Deuce to uh, act right. Now, when you get a large breed, giant breed, any breed, and there's children ar around, you got to be, well, I won't say you got to be, but children can be one or two things, apprehensive or highly motivated by this dog running around like a donkey. Now, Deuce, good God. That brother, he 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 taps, he hits and moves, he sticks and moves, and uh, he's bumped me a few times, and and I've realized like, yo, this is a big dog. I mean, when he hits somewhere on me, I'm I'm an honest six foot. He's hitting me with his paws here. His nose is hitting my nose. This is a big dog. So one of the concerns Ferran has had was, hey, I've got a younger sister, the dog, and she's nervous. It makes her uncomfortable when this dog is running around. And mind you, he's a puppy. So that's why we gotta go through expectations. First expectation is does he know the power of his crate? Absolutely. And when I say absolutely, me and Jamarcus is walking him down the road of, hey, go to your room. Stay when I open the crate. Come out, sit down. And that in itself is a journey. We forget that these dogs, especially in the first year, are like kids. You know what a kid wants to do if it's a good, if it's well put together, you know, kid's gonna wonder, it's gonna be curious, it's gonna wanna investigate things, and it's not gonna know its own strength in this case. Which snakes are most poisonous? The baby ones, not the big ones. The big ones have learned how to regulate that venom so that they can do what they need to do in terms of, you know, getting food potentially. The baby just like, ah, crazy. So, Jamarcus has now put Deuce in various situations. There are Frenchie pups out there that are gonna be making noise, so he's gonna to wanna to investigate them. We're gonna see okay. if he breaks character a few times. We're gonna show you him coming out of the crate, ah, no. um, walking through the house, and he didn't really walk through the house unless Jamarcus puts him on a leash. Once he now knows, kinda of like start to finish where to go, pew, to the back door he runs. Slide, slipping, and, and on a mission. But even more importantly, we're getting to the place now where Jamarcus has to continue to work on distractions. And the more distractions, the more control. But the practicing, and this is what this video is about. What are some realistic expectations to set for you and your Kane Corso in the first year? <sighs> Just love the dog. You wanna know what? Talk to the dog, spend time with the dog. Clearly ask the dog to do things that you wanted to do long term, and that is, the downs. That is the hey man, wait till uh, 
I tell you, to come out of this crate. The crate, waiting for the crate, transfers to the car. There's nothing more dangerous than, in my opinion, than your dog getting out of the car and bolting. <laughs> Depending on what environment you're in, especially if there's streets and cars moving around, what do you think happens? This is, this is the crazy part, right? Your dog gets out the car, takes off running, it hits a car or gets hit by a car. Depending on the size and density of your dog, let's say your dog tears the front light out of that car. Who do you think they're going to charge with getting that light fixed? Now your dog is dead or in ruins because you got to go get him to the surgery on top of paying for this joker's car because they don't have pet insurance for cars that got damaged because they hit a dog that you couldn't control. All that food for thought, people. I like in the process. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Stan came over and worked the dog. We saw Ferran early on yanking on Deuce, trying to get him to down, and he'd listen and not listen. Him not listening isn't a bad thing because he's got to learn the importance of listening. So we have to raise value, build integrity, get him on the rope, start continuing to keep his interest, like pique his interest with more things so he can get more out of him. You know how, like, you was a kid, right? And it started off with ice cream. Maybe a couple pieces of candy. As you got older, you're like, look, I want that PlayStation 5. <laughs> then it was like, yo, I need a car. Then it's like, yo, I want some Gucci flip flops. Make it just kept getting crazier and crazier. And depending on your parents and how you were raised, as your interest grew in terms of what you wanted to go out and explore, more was asked of you, right? If you have good parents, right? Hey, did you read? Do you have A's? Um, have you been in any trouble? Uh, how are things coming along? Like all these little things built character in you, right? Did you use your manners? Were you disrespectful? All these little things. Were you on time? Like think about all the stuff that goes into 18 years. Only for you to create your own expectations one day and then grow up and say, man, I want to get a house. Now to get a house, how much money do you need to make? You see, <laughs> and then that expectation changes because now you got to go to work five days a week, if not seven, depending on what it is you're trying to achieve, just so you can get a house, aka a place of peace. So when we're when we're outlining expectations for a dog, yeah, unfortunately they don't live to 109. But in the short time that they're here, to get the best and most out of them, it's kind of like anything. You talk to them, you have a lot of patience, you spend as much time with them. You definitely love pet, take care of them. You feed them correctly, make sure that they get their shots. And even more importantly, they have a good recall. Dude, because go. without recall, in my opinion, oh. bad things can happen with these. And Deuce isn't an aggressive breed. He doesn't, he doesn't register in that. Most apartment complexes won't tell you you can't have a Connie Corso or even a Massive. And then there's some places that'd be like, hell no. But at any who, Deuce is coming along and, and it's a work in progress, and even for me sitting back from a managerial standpoint, watching the progress, and then Stan as well, he says, man, he's, he's doing a really good job. We just want to give you a light update on how he's coming along and things that you could do to ensure your Connie Corso stays safe in and outside of your home. So start from the crate all the way to the door, all the way to outside. There'll be a little light distraction, and then we put him up, and guess what? That five minutes of work, that's value. That's why the crate's so important for the first year and a half. You say, hey, why do he in and out the crate? Is there times where he gets to, the dogs get to roam around the house? Absolutely. But more importantly, we gotta get him in a, a solid routine. I literally just got a message, and I don't even know if I can find it. But a guy said, hey, and he's, I think he's being honest, because uh, how do I train my dog without being violent? <laughs> literally. And he said, um, He said, I don't want to hurt the dog or hit the dog. That's not right. But it's a two-year-old dog. So it takes me back to, well, what did you do for the first two years that you can't get the dog under control? Because once the dog's kind of a two-year-old, <laughs> you really have to work backwards. And, and, you know, it's kind of like letting Chucky in your house. You ain't going to die, but he might kill you. Guys, keep taking care of your dogs as always. Thank you for watching Fit Bully TV. I hope that this helps. Shout out to everyone out there trying to figure out how to manage uh, a life force in their 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 home. And a kind of course, I tell you, from what I've seen from Deuce, that's a whole lot of dog. Deuce, sit.
Huh? Stay. Dude, come! Good boy! Good boy! Sit! Dude, heel! Oh, oh slow down, slow down! <laughs> I got it, but this guy wanted another pose. I'll cut that clip out! <laughs> You be getting excited, man. Come on, let's go. Heel. <laughs> there we go. Heel. Let's go. Let's go around these things. Come on. Boy. Heel. There we go. Good boy. Spin. Three. Good boy. Good boy, dude. Woo, that's a lot of drool. What? Dude, front. Up, up. Down. Stay. Ah, no. Sit. Sit. Down. Ah, no. Almost, man. Come on. Let's go get you a short one. Come on, sit. Dude, come. Good boy. Sit. Ah, no. Sit. Down. Down. Stay. Right here. Ooh, I was about to come. Get ready to release you, man. Get a little too. What? It's a short one. Sit. Boy. Two. Down. Two. Down. Down. Dude. Down. Nope. Alright. That's okay, might be time to put him up. Oh yep. We can get one more in on a good note though. We got in on a good note. Alright, dudes, come here. Sit. Down. Go on. He's down. Almost. Come on. Down. Ah, no. Sit. Free. Good boy. We're in on that. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, ready? Ah, dude. <laughs> this is what I was like, hey. Come here. Deuce, come. Good boy. Go to your room. Go to your room. Good boy. Woohoo! Hard hit it. <laughs> <laughs>